What is up guys, Ruthless Gaming coming at you. Um, as you can see, Gadget Zan has finally dropped. Uh, we're gonna open up some packs. I'm gonna finish buying these packs real quick. Um, right here you can see the latest expansion. Um, when you open them, you get five streets of ga Gadget Zan Hearthstone cards, and one of them will at least be a rare. So we're gonna finish buying these. Open up 30 packs today. Start with the classic. Sweet. Second abomination. Here we go, guys. First pack from the new Streets of Gadgets and let's take a look. New Murloc. Min enemy minions lose stealth. Um, that looks like that's going to be pretty good for the uh, the new stealth rogue deck if that ever takes off. Um, destroy a minion and one of your mana crystals. Um, this is part of the hand buffing deck. And then we have Devolve, which seems like a very interesting card. Um, which plays off of Evolve. Give Friendly Beast plus two plus two. Stealth, Death Rattle, Summon a Jade Golem. That's a cool card. We got our second Grimy Gadgeteer. Cabal Chemist, add a random potion to your hand. Seems good. Summon 411 Murlocs, Colin finishes. Alright. So, it looks like the, um... Shaman Murloc deck might be a thing. Double rares. Bomb squad. Deal 5 damage to an enemy minion. Deal 5 damage to your hero. That's kind of a questionable card. Um, it's kind of difficult to, to see. 5 mana. Deal 5. 2-2. Two, two. But it does 5 to your hero when it dies. And it's pretty easy to kill. I don't know if I like that card at all. Um, we got our second Cabal Chemist. Do you need to turn or store one health to your hero? Sure. Um, this is kind of a cool card. Um, discover a, a Hunter, Paladin, or Warrior card. And actually when the Discover thing comes up, you get to pick one from the Hunter class, one from the Paladin, and one from the Warrior. Um, and decide which of those three cards you presented you like more. There's the second one, nice. Give a random Murloc in your hand. Alright, so we got the Paladin. Um, Pally Murlocs. Silence a minion, 5-5. Five, five. Seems strong. Burgly Bully. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, add a coin to your hand. I don't know how strong that seems. That doesn't seem super strong. Um, restore 12 health to a friendly character. That seems pretty strong. That's a lot of health. Um, that's basically um, the equivalent of playing basically the equivalent of playing Reno because a lot of times you only heal for 12 or 15. Um, we did get a, a Jade Spirit, summon a Jade Golem. Seems good. Part of the Jade Golem deck. Um, and a lot of people are messing with the deck and they're having trouble figuring out how to make the, uh, the deck survive. Yeah, Lotus Assassin looks strong. Um, 
If your opponent's hand is empty, gain charge. Prime stream forcer at the end of your turn, give all minions in your hand plus one plus one. Seems really strong, uh, in my opinion. Um, at the start of your turn, deal two damage to this minion. Okay. We got double epic. Seems good. Second one, Jade Shurikens, deal two damage, combo, summon Jade Golem, second evolve. Hired gun, just a 4-3 with taunt. Jade Chieftain, it's seven mana, five, five, summon a Jade Golem, give it taunt. Turn seven. Uh, it's so hard to evaluate the Jade Golem cards because it's not about the Golem that you're playing; it's about the next Golem that you play or the last Golem that you play, um, from what I understand. But if you've played four or five Jade Golems to here, saying summon a, play a five-five, summon. A uh, six six with taunt seems good to me. Definitely could be interesting. Public defender zero seven with taunt, another heal twelve. Big time Racketeer. This is my favorite card of the set, I think. My favorite common, at least. Um, it's a 1-1 one, one for 6 mana. That's in, you know, that's a, a fairly terrible card. But when you look at it, Battle Cry summon a 6-6 six, six Ogre. So it's basically 7-7 seven, seven for 6. Seems strong, but just the, the, uh, the flavor of the card. When you play him, he says... Um, Say hello to my little friend, and then the ogre's name is Little Friend or whatever. It's just such a cool card. Another epic. Fias Cleaner. Uh, silence a minion with Death Rattle. Seems good. Oh, legendary. Let's go. Oh, Double legendary? Are you kidding me? Let's go! Aya Blackpaw and Patches the Pirate in the same pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Patches says, Charge. After you play a pirate, summon this minion from your deck. So that seems like a, a good uh, rogue. Got a couple pirates. So maybe you put this in your rogue pirate deck uh, that's going pretty fast, um, just like an aggro. Um, but you could also put it in your like uh, aggro, your pirate weapon deck uh, for warrior, and just kind of rush face. And then you get a free one one, um, and you could potentially buff it uh, over time um, if if it's in your hand before you play a pirate. Um, so top decking it doesn't seem terrible. Um, Aya Blackpaw says, ba uh, Battle Cry and Death Rattle, summon a Jade Golem. So, she play her, you get a Jade Golem, she dies, you get a second Jade Golem that they have to deal with. And obviously the second one's bigger than the first, and by turn six, you've already played a couple Jade Golems. Seems like a really strong card. I can't believe this pack. That's a crazy pack. Let's go. Let's keep cracking them open, guys. Let's go. Another epic. Piranha Launcher. After your hero attacks, summon a 1 1 Piranha. It's a 2 4 weapon. Uh, not crazy about that card. It does have some good flavor, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a super good card. Jade Idol, 
Uh, we got the secret right here for Paladin. Um, Getaway Kodo. When a friendly minion dies, return it to your hand. That's kind of a cool card. Um, especially since um, you have all these buff cards that you're going to be playing. Just potential to, to be buffing for a long time. Golden Rare. Greater Healing Potion. That's a really cool card. I really like the art on that. Freeze an enemy. Um, seems good. Discover a Mage, Priest, or Warlock card for 3 mana. It's a 2 2. Seems good. Nice. Alright, Grime Street Outfitter. 2 mana. Give all minions in your hand plus 1 plus 1. It's a 1 1. That seems pretty good to me. Um, and while it, it seems like a, a weak card on its own. Um, just the 1-1 one, one for 2 mana is very weak. Um, it is uh, going to be in the buff deck where eventually over time it's going to really work out. Um, give a random beast in your hand, plus 2, plus 2. That seems like a good turn 1 play. Um, Jade Lightning, deal 4 damage, summon a Jade Golem from Shaman. Um, I'm not really sure what the Shaman deck is going to look like running Jade Golems. Um... From what I've seen today, uh, streamers playing it, um, the Jade Golem deck really doesn't survive. <laughs> like, the first six or seven rounds, they're just trying to survive, and right now, they're not really, the decks are not really built around that. Um, so, I'm eager to see what the Shaman Jade Golem deck is going to turn out to be. Um, but, four mana for a Jade Golem and four damage, yeah. Shamans have better cards, I think. Alley Cat is kind of a really cool card. Um, all right, it's going to become a really good card for uh, Hunters to play turn one. Uh, you know, just a 1-1, one, one, but it sticks around when you trade. So I think we might see... Alley Cat might see some action pretty soon. Ancient of Blossoms. This is a pretty bad card from everything that I've heard about it. Uh, it's a 3-8. Um, you could go down one mana and make it and only lose two health and get a fin creeper. Um, or you could go up one mana and get, what is it, th yeah, three attack for one mana on a bog creeper. That's insane. Alright, we did get our second big time racketeer. Super awesome card. I'm excited just to play this card. Um, Grim Street Smuggler, give a random minion in your hand, plus one, plus one. Kind of cool. Another epic. Lotus Assassin, that's their second one that completes the set, boys. Lotus Agents, uh, discover a Druid, Rogue, or Shaman card. Five mana, five, three. Um... I think three's a little weak. But you are discovering a card. I think six mana mages have the six six mana six three discover a spell. So maybe that's not too bad. Um it does fit in several It is like the tri class card. Grand Street Pawnbroker, give a random weapon in your hand, plus one, plus one. Um, there's not really a, a heavy weapon warrior deck right now that's going to have enough weapons in your hand. I guess if you were hoping to have to mulligan really hard for that card and the Fiery War Axe, but even then, I don't think you're going to accurately have... Do 5 damage to all characters for fire potion. Kind of cool. Zero 07 plus 1 spell damage. Smuggler's run. Give all minions in your hand. Plus 1 plus 1. 
Okay, we're down the last five packs. We're gonna crank these open. Potion of Polymorph. After your opponent plays a minion, transform it into a 1-1. One, one. Oh. I do like that. Mages don't really have too many good uh, secrets to be playing. Um, it is one mana cheaper. I think that's a really good choice to be uh, to make. On the pricing, um, it really looks like the problem with it is you can't control what they play so once this is in the meta and they understand you may see people waiting a turn to play their bigger minion and uh, people kind of playing a little off curve just to feel this out and trigger it um, here's the abyssal enforcer it's a 6-6 six, six for 7 um, except it deals 3 damage to all other characters um, which is basically a hellfire um, to everything except this guy so he's not going to come in being a 6-3. You know, you're not going to play a 6-6 six, six and then Hellfire. It, for one more mana, you play him and then get a Hellfire. Seems like a really good card. People are really hyping it up for like a Control Warlock deck. Um, and they're pretty excited about it. Shade Blossom, cool true card. Grime Street Protector. 7 mana, 6-6. Six, six, has Taunt, Battlecry, give adjacent minions, Divine Shield. Seems pretty cool. That seems like a good card. Uh, it's kind of costly, but to give two other minions, I don't know. I guess you. I don't know. Maybe it is a little expensive for that effect. Blood Fury Potion, give a minion plus their attack. If it's a demon, also give it plus three health. Cabal Lackey, one mana, two, one. The next secret you play this turn costs zero. Yeah, so it looks like maybe they are encouraging like a, a mage secret deck. Um, last pack we have. Crack this open. Legendary. And an epic and a rare. And a golden rare. Sleep with the fishes. Deal three damage to all damage minions. And then we have another. That's for warrior. We have another murloc right here. Give a random murloc in your hand. All right. Let's see what this legendary is. Third one of the day. Kazakus. Let's go. Battle cry. If your deck has no duplicates, create a custom spell. I don't know if you guys know what that means. Um because it is a fairly new card basically you you get three choices when you're making your own spell it's such a cool idea um, basically they show you do you want to make a one mana five mana or ten mana spell and then you choose and then it gives you it shows you three choices um, of nine possible um, and it's like game if you chose like the ten mana one it might be gain ten armor is the one the first one you might choose then it shows you three more choices and it might have anything from like gain 10 health and play a random or summon a random demon I don't even know there's so many choices and they didn't really show too too much in the uh, video um, at BlizzCon but it definitely seems like a really strong Reno card um, I think there's another uh, legendary that complements it super cool card um, it's really nice to get three legendaries out of these packs. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a like. Don't forget to sub. Thank you so much.